Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week is a really forward going, let's ride off into and towards our dreams kind of week. It's very airy season. But on top of that, there's, there's this whole vibe of healing our soul and being intuitive. So we're using our, hopefully, we are encouraged to use our psychic antenna along with our willpower to make big transformations. Truly exciting. Here's your weekly astrology. Hello, Sagittarius, my wild ponies. How are you doing? Oh my goodness, I've got some great, potentially great news for you. This week is all about creativity, love, happiness, joy, pleasure. Oh, and healing your relationship with any kids if you've got them and having a great time in a childlike, joyful way. Yeah. So where do we begin? We begin at the beginning with the sun joining forces with Chiron, the wounded healer. Now, I'm a big fan of Chiron. Chiron's very intense. It's all about the wounds in our past where, where you know, we, never, we didn't recover and it's impacted who we are in the world. But Chiron comes along and says, OK, I'm going to take those wounds and turn them into fertilizer for your future. And what is being healed with confidence, because we have the sun this week, is your pleasure zone, happiness, creativity, wonder and optimism, all things very dear to your heart. So if your happiness was squashed, your pleasure, your creativity, something happened that, that kind of burst your balloon, hurt you in any way, you can heal that this week. That's where your focus is. There's sort of positive vibrations coming because the sun gives it an up vibe. We also have lots of very deep communication coming around your home and family. Mercury and Neptune are joining forces. So it makes you have a lot of empathy, a lot of feeling, a lot of in tune. You're spiritually in tune, you're intuitively in tune to your surroundings around your home but also to situations in your family. And you're seeing the bigger picture from a spiritual point of view, not a practical point of view, a spiritual point of view. So you're understanding things and you're super sensitive and there's a lot of psychic information coming in. Having said that, of course, you know, it, it, Neptune is about illusion. So be careful that you don't sort of tip into illusion, you know, go and paint 75 rainbows in your living room and then regret it. We have a whole load of sextiles which are very, very good in astrology. And we have Venus, the planet of love, sextiling Saturn, and also the sun sextiling Saturn. And again, it's in your pleasure zone. And it, Saturn is in your idea zone. So Saturn's going, all right, I'm going to support you in your quest for pleasure and happiness and love. But you have to use your mind and you have to put your ideas into action and you have to make a, a commitment an intellectual commitment, a, a commitment to an idea that will make you happy. And if you stick to it, you know, I'll lend you a helping hand. There's another sextile, actually, with um, Mercury and Pluto. Mercury's in your home zone. Pluto's in your abundance zone. So then you might find there are big changes around your family and your home, possibly to do with, with this Neptune giving you kind of intuitive answers about the way to go forward. Generally, the vibe is about pleasure, though. So there should be a lot of potential for happiness, abundance and all things marvellous. So you've got to believe it. You've got to believe that you're worthy of happiness. You've got to believe it's possible for you to be happy and trust. You know, if you're creative in any way, allow that to download with you this week. And finally, Mercury goes into your pleasure zone. So lots of laughter, lots of up energy. What are you going to use it for? What are you going to create? And follow your bliss. I nearly went then without giving you your, your tarot reading. <laughs> okay, let's pull three cards for you, Sagittarius. What is going on this week? How can we enhance that? Although, it, you know, what wonder and magic is going to be there th this week? It's time to heal. Allow the healing of that space so that you can go forward and feel it again. Okay, first card. The doubt. Are you doubting? Are you finding it difficult to make a decision? The two of swords sometimes makes us feel that we're blindfolded but actually if you really tune into what's going on inside you the answer is already there rip off the blindfold and make a decision again the seven of cups you're super creative this week but choose your dream carefully don't choose the snake 
or well some people might want to choose a dragon i don't know but you know that there's there's all sorts of wonder before you and also temptation so choose wisely and finally the lovers very fitting for this whole vibe of this week your passion is being reignited for potentially a lover or a creative idea but your passion for life is high now the other uh, important message of the lovers is there will be a choice coming choose with your heart is the answer take care gorgeous come visit me on instagram at michelle knight michelle with one l so much love to you